My name is Elizabeth Cook. I'm from Sapatua Cree Nation. I remember going to bed. I don't know how old I was. I think I was about maybe five or six years old. Next morning, I woke up in a strange place. I was in uh, Pine Creek Residential School. I remember being very afraid, like scared. My sister was crying. They tore our family apart. Since history began, people have yearned for equality, for freedom, and for the right to live in peace. Even today, despite our best efforts, intolerance and oppression persist in our nation and the world, and we feel powerless to prevent them. Until now. The Canadian Museum for Human Rights is envisioned to be an international center for the understanding, study, and advancement of human rights. Located in Winnipeg, Canada, it has the potential to reach the entire world through traveling exhibits, outreach, and education. The museum will encourage us to face our history, encounter the present, and inspire us to change the future. Stunning architecture by the renowned Antoine Predock and a brilliant master exhibit plan by Ralph Applebaum Associates combined to create a powerful experience symbolizing an ascension of humanity through transformed lives. This world-class facility will take you on a life-changing journey from darkness to light, from despair to hope, forever changing your perception of what a museum can be. Learn that your actions can touch others and influence your community and the world around you. Your personal journey of discovery starts with your very own electronic human rights key, a digital passport to interact with others, express your opinion, download information, or even take action on an issue. Immerse yourself in compelling stories of people from around the world. Through holographic imagery, meet a woman from Afghanistan, an Inuit father, or a child from Africa, to learn how we all share basic human rights goals and challenges. Enter the Aboriginal community, where Canada's history began, and learn about the many challenges they have faced over time. Step into a sharing circle, and from an elder hear stories of peace, justice, and respect for each other and our planet. Join others at a waterfall to share stories of living rights, the importance of clean air and drinking water to all humanity. In order to change the world, we must involve our youth. Imagine the impact on our schools, our communities, and our countries when tens of thousands of young people explore history in ways they never thought possible, supported through the museum's one-of-a-kind student travel program. And imagine the impact when young people have a place to go to learn the skills needed to address the issues they face today, like racism or bullying. I was one of the kids in the schoolyard that was frequently bullied, never had a clue what to do about it or how to deal with it, and just lived with the fear. Kids want to have control over their lives. That's a big thing with youth, right? That's part of the growing up part of adolescence. By giving them the skills and the tools to deliver this information and to make a difference to help stop bullying and harassment, it empowers them. If we know what we're dealing with, we can help stop it. Human rights heroes are often ordinary people whose simple actions have led to extraordinary change. At the museum, thousands of heroes will come to life through dramatic multimedia presentations, offering perspectives on the issues we have faced over time and continue to face today, like terrorism, racism, and intolerance. 
Be inspired by the gains we've made in women's rights, children's rights, labor rights, and others. At the same time, be motivated to learn what's yet to be done. Canada's unique history engages you in a very personal way as you step into numerous storytelling alcoves. Inside, you will hear first-hand accounts from people who have lived through troubling times. On voulait avoir une assurance qu'on était pour avoir des services en français de notre province, notre gouvernement provincial. Et juste avant l'été 83, on a décidé d'avoir des audiences publiques. On commençait à exprimer ouvertement euh, notre, notre point de vue sur le fait français. Et ça l'a mené jusqu'à des menaces de mort. Euh, et ça l'a dégringolé après ça. Là. <rire> euh, on est obligé de sortir de chez nous. C'est arrivé au point même à un moment donné qu'on est obligé de, de amener nos enfants en campagne chez moi, au Manitoba ou au Canada. Euh, je me sentais comme citoyen de deuxième classe, qui comptait vraiment pour rien. No other document in Canada's history has been more strongly debated, more welcomed, more revered or more challenged than the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Uh, for me, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms is there to ensure that what was produced in 1983 will never be produced. Use technology to participate in discussions about how the Charter directly affects you and explore other key documents that play a role in making Canada the country that it is today. Modern history tells us that even in Western democratic nations, where culture and technology are advanced and education is accessible to all, the loss of people's rights can lead to annihilation if we are not vigilant and fail to recognize the signs. We've learned through history that genocides, all genocides, share similar characteristics. The Canadian Museum for Human Rights will be a place to study these characteristics in the hope of being able to intervene early and prevent them from happening again. These soldiers came to every door in our building and said, you have to come down. I did not believe that this can happen to me because I have a little baby. I left Andy in his crib. I said, well, what's going to happen to the baby? And they said in the most horrible way, whatever happens to Jewish babies. And, well, you can imagine. By learning what happened during the Holocaust, we can become better equipped to recognize the warning signs and the failings of countries, governments, and people. They also told us that we are going to put into, into concentration camps. From that moment on, I just hoped I will escape. I refused to be a victim. After the Holocaust, the world responded with a declaration that collectively we would work to secure the rights of all people. The UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights was the world coming together to say, never again. Yet the struggle continues, and stories from around the world still need to be told. Around 1990, we heard of a rebel attack in the eastern part of the country. So many thousands of people dead on the street. I tried to make my way towards where I was living. I got there. My family wasn't there. I had a wife and two sons. I carry this picture with me wherever I go. One day I would see them again. Human rights events are unfolding each and every day, 
the museum will present the stories that are happening right now all around the globe. War refugees, child labor, political unrest will all be seen in real time through the lens of international journalists and activists. Explore the human rights topics that interest you most, and more importantly, engage with the people and groups who are working on these issues to create meaningful, lasting change. I was coming home with my mom, and um, I looked at my window and I saw a homeless man eating out of a garbage can. I felt sad, but I also felt, I felt kind of angry or disappointed. I thought, I can do something, you know, and I'm going to. I asked if I could talk to my class about homelessness or what I understood about it and if we could do something to help. I really look up to Martin Luther King, and he has a saying, and it's, in the end we will not remember the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. We cannot be silent anymore. Invest in a new generation of young people who will be inspired by the museum to create change. Join a growing community of supporters who believe this museum will symbolize Canada's unwavering commitment to human rights. I left my country to be in a free country. My passion for, for freedom and my passion for getting back to Andy helped me, helped me to live. Help create stories with happy endings, no matter how badly they began. This call came from Canada and the lady said, it is about your wife and children. They are living in Canada, in St. John's Newfoundland. It was like the clouds opened and I was lifting up. I felt so light. Never before has there existed an opportunity to change the world like the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. No matter how old or young you are, you can make a difference in your world. The time is now. Together, we can change humanity. With your contribution, we can change the world. The Canadian Museum for Human Rights. It all begins with you.